Yo, what up YouTube? Welcome back to the Nasty Nate channel. Thanks for stopping in today. Make sure you hit subscribe in the bottom corner. Today, we are finally getting the finishing touches on the wheels. As you can see in the front right there, we got a center cap finally in the mail. They're, they're kind of baller. They're just the cheap semi center caps, but they look way better than, let's show you the rear way better than that all those lug nuts sticking out and whatnot so let me show you what we got and i'm still waiting in the mail for the big spikes for the lug nut covers they just slide on to here uh just like all the semis use but let me show you what we got and uh show you what they look like on the truck shout out to rainy's it's a semi-truck website that sells all kinds of chrome and whatnot for uh, your semi-truck. Since these are Alcoa wheels, and here are the hubcaps. They're literally $7 a piece. And they have a bunch of different styles, but I got the, the simple, like, just dome style like that. They have ones that come to a point or stick out super far or whatnot. But let's open this thing up see what it looks like. That's so baller. So check that out. Next to Matt's Toyota. This thing right here. But that is going to look real good on the center with a bunch of spikes. Alright, that definitely looks way better than without the center caps. So I think that's really going to set these wheels off. We just need the spikes, which are coming in two days. It sucks that it's Friday right now. They're not coming till Monday. But the rears, I'll show you what we're running into. So since it's made for a dually wheel, the adapter, this is only a single wheel and the lip sticks out too far. And the center cap has to go on the inside of the aluminum. It's basically too big to go on the inside of the adapter. So I'm getting half inch spacers for the 10 lug um, lug pattern. So that'll bring the wheel out a half an inch further than this lip. And then we'll be able to put the center caps on. And then we are getting the spikes on Monday. So with the magic of film editing or video editing, uh, I have to wait till Monday to get the spikes, make this truck looking good get the wheels looking good but it'll be monday right about now for you guys all right it's the next day we finally got the uh the next pieces in the mail they're the half inch spacers and let me show you how they're gonna go they're gonna go just like that no i'm kidding we gotta take the wheels off and throw these on there and then we'll be able to put the center caps on so let's get the uh the Milwaukee out with a 33 millimeter socket. Hopefully we can bust these things off pretty quick. And then we're gonna torque them back down because they torque to 500 foot pounds. <laughs> the center caps are looking good on the back wheels let's get the spikes and throw them on that'll be in this video but a different day and then uh, these should be looking fly so let's get it done what is up YouTube back at you coming from Monday it is right now finally got the spikes in the mail so let's get them on the wheels this should be the finishing touch for these wheels and hopefully these look nasty on the nasty Nate Duramax so let's get them on we're gonna get these things cleaned up get some cool videos of them so hopefully they look good let's get to it <laughs> Yo, 
so the spikes are on the truck and they make these wheels look so much cooler. I mean, that is totally the finishing touch on these wheels. They're actually four and seven eighths inch spikes. So about five inch spikes and they are just massive. I mean, next to my hand, they stick out super far. They don't stick out farther than the wheel though. So there's still a good amount of lip that you can see, but that is perfect with the dome center cap. I mean, these are just baller now, or should I say they are nasty. So let's get this truck washed up and uh, get some good shots of it. Well guys, I went inside to make some dinner real quick before I washed the truck and polished the wheels to get some sweet shots of them. But I come out to Thunder so I could roll up my windows and it's like literally about to downpour. If that ain't the truth from Ohio, this is just crazy. We're gonna get like two or three inches of rain in the next couple of days. Figured it's probably not worth washing this thing up right now, but I did want to make sure you guys saw the spikes and the finishing touches on the Alcoas because they just look so nasty. I love it so much, but uh, you can hear the thunder right now. I mean, this is crazy. Anyway, because it was nice earlier. But anyway, make sure you subscribe to Nasty Nate down in the bottom corner. And we'll see you in the next one.